karibu tena. Um, this is lesson 14. Lesson 14. Leo tumeamua gospel kidogo. So today I'm going to pass you through some several gospel songs, even the, the next two to three lessons. It will be some several gospel songs. But what you appear as a same to me, watch a moon. To me, what to me, like, but charity begins at home. You start with what is there at home. So, they will try some two or three some gospel songs. You could at least come over, you know, as a chess as songs. I got to come here to chess, like a moja kamungu. You know what you can do. So, as I always say, we are all learning together. I couldn't to answer some my guitar. You can't know any everything, but at least you can know something. I aina sikila mtu anasema ati I can do this and I can do this gita ni kubwa so we always learning together ukiona mahali na kosea just know you rectify later tunasonga we learn together so today tutapitisha like as no more 3 to 5 songs kidogo kidogo tunaangalia rhythm alafu tunaangalia solo kidogo and then we continue so our first song um kuna song inaitwa there was someone who had requested that song. This, the composer of the song is my namesake, and it was Eric Sami. I don't know him, but that's the song we are going to start with today. Today I'm going to concentrate more on the original keys, not the major keys. The original key, the song we made So, so That's a rhythm. But as you are quite key, you can from KG, no, no, just two frets. Apple. Every guitar, I think every, every guitar anyone can access here to come on the box. Box you can still access. So on just strings, two, three, four. Those are the only strings you now to pick. Two, three, four. So. Swift. Thon ta wanyesha the way to turn in, but two, three, four, five. When you I want you to start with the, just a simple one. Then, apa ya kumalizia. You can change at least we get a carton kidogo too. So it will go like this. Play that your rhythm is just a consecutive rhythm back a So come on, on a 
hiyo ya kupanda hapa itaputisiza just finish hii nimekwambia gita hii start with what you are possible usijipe stress sana you can go with that one ndio jifunza solo hivi unaona hii ya kupanda jo ina tatiza kidogo part kumbukeni vile niliwaambia kuhusu solo if ndio <coughs> tunaanza hapo chini open open lost so solo ni hapo Unaona dirimu yake mali hii ina, inakujia Sorry Unaona vi mali inakuja kuingilia kwa hiyo rhythm no solo hapo ndio nakuja kulala vi yake so solo nana nina wadi ne kulye kulyo so hiyo solo natumia tu sio tatumia Nona Rhythm open open lost So tatumia E open na hiki lost then EV ya hapa yenye inakuja kuingia kwa rhythm Right that you know why number string number 1 Unamaliza na hiyo ki lost so una una fruta from the note ndio hii so una fruta from here nona is it tumbil ndio unatumia kwa hivi unaweza pandisha hii kidole so kwa nisi hii naweza tumia kwa kumalizia so this we understand kidogo
So many things. The reason I always choose easy songs is we can just a song more, more than five of them. Like at least when I do two to three songs each day, you learn something new. Na pia vidole na delea kuzoya. So you just choose two to three every day. When I do one, more just a couple of things But well and good. We are all human. So, let's say my rhythm here. So, solo, in answer. But then zile zile stanza u katikati. Easy to? He lost. So, it's a very simple song. 
inaitwa um, Kaine Tayer by Eric Samua anaziandika pale chini kwa description. Mm. Kile ni song yenye nimetumia. You can search it and unaisikiza some are very sweet songs. So <coughs> nataka tuende the next one. Mia ta hiyo ni ya mwanaume na no, no, we are going to a song with a lady. Hiyo tutachezea kwa ki. then kuja tuendelee na lesson just pause now tumesema kama so we dance up all the three of them chini ni this notes So in that solo you need to be swift. Kwa hizi vidole mbili hata mimi huwa zinalemea kidogo. You need to be very swift. So ni not. So natumia this too. So ni So natumia No, 
Unaona the same tu umeshashika hapa. song yangu itaisha ndi so sasa not in easy tu hizo notes nakumbuka kwa last lesson ili explain about hizo notes wakati unarudi nyuma kwa kwa hiyo shortcut ya shortcut ya nini solo hapo so now na combine kidogo na so na rhythm most important step it ina nichanganyanga even anyone kama uja practice vizuri ama ina maybe hiyo siku umeamka fidole zako hazitaki kazi itakulemea can sing a good song wajane kumbiza speed reduce key but you can still use speed come on a laptop and then you fail to affect the key I want to show you Thank you. 
hiyo songo inaitwa Osanguma by America. Lo mungu and train it at least we will see hapo ndio at least that's one of the challenges songo nimekuwa nayo wakati una change the the strings but i wanted to also to challenge myself so i told you we are all learning now tumetoka hapa tumeenda nataka tukuje hapa sasa kuna song moja i think is one of our later fortune but i don't think kama imechezwa na guitar i think that was more of keyboard and i want us to graft it to make a, to just a nakita too because everything music is just the same so when it was a lot of something so apa kwa key d three strings four and five try to play. I don't know kama ni play hiyo hivyo because always unaisikia kwa mbali imekuwa so many ime cover sana. So ne? Then 4 and 5. Naona why not? Then unapanga vidole venye nilionyesha kupanga sasa. nashikianga hapo This kid I think ya yeah. So now play that kadithi and try to record it kama ni just 10 minutes not 10 minutes like uh, just one minute ama 30 seconds this will be our not last note but because this is the last closed remember hapa ni open open closed so so you know this is a solo so kama ni key Bye. 
badala kidole la namba nini na kushika kwa 3 kwa 4 tunashika 3 so sasa the, the second the second chorus ina, ina ishanga ya solo nakumbuka inoti ni kuambia mwisho mbona naweza shika hivi but i always prefer this one so wakati umerudi nyuma i prefer ushike hizi close na this two ndio kuwa na nafasi ya kutumia ingine Fair Swift hapa juu. Aya. tumesema note inaweza enda then start to open so you can still play with these ones kidogo
song na ito a lot by fortune mingali kati we a lot to i don't know the other stanzas but at least <coughs> i know that starting part si ya kushia i don't know the other parts you need to cram the song you at least you know the parts you can write it down to practice it kama unataka kujifunza funza more of the gospel song song you una can play wakati una maybe kanisani ama somewhere and you don't want to be strict to the choirs you can play those songs they are good one just stay get them stop with tang great kwa mbenga music but you are still in church because the message is what we listen haya now uh, nataka kumalizia na two songs two sa choir songs the rhythms may not go as the choir because nimejaribu kusikiza these songs most of them zitakuanga zimezimekwa keyboard dani so when you listen to the solo you just to create a rhythm yenye itafanya you practice that solo so nataka usikize that rhythm ya benu inaitwa nimeandaliwa but ukisikiza kuna rhythm lakini kwa ndani kidogo most of the are so much covered by other instruments so and then practice song These are not for a note. See in V2 unajaribu ucheshika yote. But at least unashika ile what you need.
so in and not yavi. So Nakumuka up. Open ya. So now let's try to combine some yote. Nimejaribu kuisikiza and this is what I got. Si lazima inaweza kuwa ina miss kitu but at least it's very close you can easily know which song is it. I think it's a song, it's a very nice song. In it when you live by ISM, but no, you can go and search it, you feel, and you try to make it be a and let me add that solo. and check on that inaitwa nimeandaliwa by Benu na pia kuna nyingine inaitwa Mkemwema the same yenye ilianza nayo nikianza song i think you can pass through it kidogo pia hiyo rhythm nili just create kidogo Mkemwema Songs, ukisikiza, you can't get the rhythm maliko, but you can easily get a rhythm for you to play. Kunjifunza solo, you have to get a rhythm. Because always utakuna njifunza peke yake, you need to challenge yourself by speed. So... So hii meshikiwa hapa. I think this is key F, yeah. So... zangu tisa rhythm zenye asifai kwa zinakushimbua mwema utoka kwa mwema ina ya mke mwema i think ni benu pia let's try to record that rhythm
Kike Solo is one of the village challenge sana. So there's a lot of battles in Jaishika Vizuri, but I cook something kidogo, then we'll train about it later. So now, as I always say, chin in open. Yeah, Malaysia is lost. Lost. We are in Ganga. Apple. So. In the V. But we can get a end when you're in your endanga. I think there's a note here. You're in your endanga. I think that's the original one, but you need to be very swift. I don't think you may practice up to that point. But come on, Dr. Tisa, come on, can always you're always innovative. Ah, yeah. You can skip that note by skipping one of the notes. Kidogo too. Yet you are When you're in Malaysia, you're in Malaysia. 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 You're in
very simple. Your songs in it are Beno Choir. When I see the description, you can easily get them. When you attack is or beats the on a skianga in a lia to two, you can get all of them. There's always my number there on an inbox and I'm going to me a bit what's up. I always send and anything, any need you want. So for today, Tafika Apo, I can go and practice some choir songs and the gospel songs, but at least this was our lesson, lesson 14. Let me see lesson 15. We check two or three other songs, at least to go to Mianza and then some other famous choirs in your 20 pole pole. I always choose songs Kulingana and the way the way Zikona Ungumu and whether you are going to learn something new from them. So thank you very much. Always subscribe. Also send a message of encouragement, Palachini. If you are benefiting, you can always call me, I always speak. We talk. So thank you very much. See you next time.